was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of Hey guys, welcome to Sound of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and this month I'm participating in VEDA, which is Vlog Every Day in August. And I thought I'd do a, a spin on what I do, so I'm talking about pizza and design. And so I'm looking at pizza websites and critiquing, checking out the pizza selection, all that fun stuff. So this week, or for this episode, uh, we are going to Indiana, and we're checking out Bazbo Pizza. So let's uh, check it out. Also, I've not seen this website, so you're getting a first impression. Besbo Pizza. I think it's, I'm saying that right, maybe, hopefully. Um, okay, so let's get a first impression. Oh, it's the, it's the entire menu, basically. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, so the homepage is the menu page. Um, so let's talk about the website. I love that there's a huge uh, banner image. That's that's lovely. It's always nice to have like a visual. And uh, let's talk about the the, uh, the structure, I guess. It's kind of weird because it's the menu page, so there's not gonna be a ton of stuff. It's nice that there are actually uh, slider images above each section of the menu. That's nice to kind of show that and then there's some locations and about so this looks like it's a one pager yeah it's a one page website so that's cool i don't know that i would necessarily start with the menu though um i wish there was like something else like some kind of like welcome or i don't know these are specials or something besides going straight into the menu that's just me it might be weird i don't know Anyway, uh, let's look at let's talk about the logo. So Basbo Pizza. There's a little jester inside the circle. He's holding a pizza and some wine. So Broad Ripple, Mass Ave, and Caramel. I'm assuming those are the uh, locations. And um, yeah, I don't know what Basbo is. I'm not sure what the reference is, but maybe it's a reference to Jokers. I don't know. But let's look at the pizza selection. So we have Create Your Own Pizza, Cheese Pizza. So traditional toppings, exotic toppings, premium toppings. What are the exotic toppings? Andouille sausage, Italian sausage, house-made chorizo, Genoa salami, albacore tuna, artichoke hearts, avocado. Uh, I've never had avocado on a pizza before. Uh, if you've had avocado on a pizza, I wanna hear your comment down below. Uh, fresh basil, broccoli, capers, eggplant, grilled onion, hearts of palm, pine nuts, snow pea pods, spinach, house roasted red pepper, arugula, sun dried tomatoes, house roasted tomatoes, cheddar, feta, fontina, fresh goat cheese, pesto, ricotta, Swiss, blue cheese, <laughs> black bean dip, barbecue sauce, and salsa. Salsa on pizza sounds disgusting. <laughs> uh, the, so those are the exotic toppings, and then the other toppings are pretty, um, whatever actually the premium toppings are weirder i think or like kind of like the shrimp and the fancy lump crab smoke smoking goose capicola smoked turkey bruschetta oh, maybe not look at the crab and the shrimp is kind of weird to me so the pizzas uh let's see da, da, da. the colossal da, da, da. the luke the bot neptune what is this one chipotle Chipotulus? I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering it. It's T-C-H-O-U-P-I-T-O-U-L-A-S. Cajun shrimp, house to, huh, wow, words. House roasted red pepper, green pepper, red onion, and dewy sausage, and fresh garlic. Uh, it sounds interesting. Uh, what else? Yeah. Sense of formaggio, no cheese. Uh, good fresh. The chilope is a, uh, it looks like a Mexican pizza. So yeah, nothing nothing too crazy as far as the pizza selection goes. I think these are pretty standard looking pizzas. Uh, this is a place that was recommended uh, on Facebook, so I assume that it's good. So whoever recommended this, uh, if you're watching, uh, if you tell me what what you recommend out of these pizzas or what you've had, that would be awesome. They have a bunch of starters, sandwiches, uh, muffaletta. I love a good muffaletta. Although I had a, I had a bad experience with one recently. Uh, desserts, sorbet, tartufo, bomba, the cookie. 
yeah, I don't know. Let's say these, yeah, these locations look cute. Cute exteriors. Um, so about, oh, okay. So here's the about. See, I kind of wish, I kind of wish this about was <clears throat> up top or something. Maybe like a condensed about or something. I don't know. So Basbo was it was was the whimsical name given to his court jester by the French king Louis the Eleventh. Louis the Eleventh was an incompetent king who taxed at will and broke laws. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. So Basbo was a jester. Interesting. Um, cool. All right. Well, it's a it's a it's a pretty modern site. Uh, as a recap, it's a pretty modern site. I like that it's, I like the, the giant header. I like the slider images above the menu items. That's, that's interesting. Uh, the logo is, you know, it's, it's, it's got character, which I like. And, uh, yeah, the pizza sounds good. So thumbs up for Basbo Pizza. Uh, if uh, you want to get a hold of me, uh, for whatever reason, <laughs> yeah, I'm on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just look up Son of Pizza Man. And don't forget to subscribe below. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me Was the son of a pizza man The only boy who could ever feed me Was the son of a pizza man, yes he was